William Miller was considered a madman when he put God first. Even then, he didn't give up. What can we learn from William Miller today to help us put God first in our own lives? He was a man of integrity who could not bring himself to believe the Bible to be true until an unexplainable event during his time at war shattered the way he looked at life. He asked himself, if the laws of nature are the only possible forces acting in the universe, how did I not die when the bomb exploded so close to me? He decided to start a deep study of scripture. Back at his farm in Whitehall, New York, Miller committed to reading and understanding the Bible, one verse at a time. This endeavor took him two years, 1816 to 1818, during which time he fell in love with his Savior, Jesus Christ. One of the most significant truths Miller found was the prophecy of the 2,300 evenings and mornings of Daniel 8.14. The prophecy predicted a significant event to take place about 1843 or 1844. He was compelled to share this knowledge with as many people as he could. However, as he was not a preacher, he did not feel himself skilled enough to do it. As the Holy Spirit kept impressing him to tell others what he had discovered, he asked God to be abundantly clear in this calling. If someone asked him to share these findings, it would be a sign between him and God that he should do it. Less than an hour later, a family member arrived at the farm to ask him to share his findings. At first, Miller was upset because God had sent this invitation immediately. Then he decided to put God first by doing his best with the limited skills he thought he had. His preaching led to a nationwide revival. Hundreds of thousands of people left all worldly things behind, preparing for Jesus' second coming. They were expecting Jesus to return on October 22, 1844, but Jesus didn't. Instead, he started his ministry in the most holy place, in the heavenly sanctuary. It was from this disappointment that God called the pioneers of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Today, Seventh-day Adventists are preaching the good news of the soon coming of Jesus in more than 200 countries. Millions of people are now hopeful because Miller chose to put God first, sacrificing all and following duty instead of inclination. William Miller put God first, even when he was laughed at. His courage inspires us today. Jesus gave up everything to redeem us, and his love compels us to put his kingdom first in our own lives. As we return our tithes and promise, we are challenged to put God first.